So now that we've added obstacles, the next logical step would be to add power-ups. The only problem with adding power-ups at this point is that we don't know what the player abilities are going to be. So we're going to create placeholder power-ups and we can always adjust it later. So let's first make this area uh, a wee bit bigger because right now um, we don't have much room to work with. So let's find... Let's copy this, paste it, bring it out to 18, and let's just also copy a block. And, wow, perfect, 0018. Now we'll copy this again, paste it again, paste it again, and one more time. Okay, so now the environment's a little bit bigger. Eventually, having all these objects loaded at the same time will create a, uh, first, a, del a delay in the load. It'll take time to load everything. Second of all, depending on how many objects you have, it could actually impact frame rate and that kind of thing. So what we're eventually going to do, not right now, but as I mentioned, there's a way to get around this. We're going to do that in a couple of videos. We're going to, once we really get the basic functionality into place, we're then going to look at optimization. So for now, let's start creating some power-ups. So game object, 3D object, we'll use, let's use a capsule. Let's see how that looks. Okay. Let's make this. So let's put this at position zero. Put this at 24 even. Now let's shrink that. So let's make this 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and Point five, and now let's rotate it kind of like a like it's a pill. Um, let's go to the rotation tool. This time there's like a blue one going over the top. So it looks like it's z-axis. So we'll make that ninety. And let's give it its own mat. So create material, call this mat2. This will make it green, just has a healthy feel to it. Capsule. take a look to see how that looks. Okay. We'll shrink that a tiny bit. Okay, so this is probably a good time to add some bells and whistles, so to speak. We're going to add uh, some rotation to this object. That way it's not just sitting there. So let's add a new script. So create C sharp and let's call it effects just in case we use it for multiple objects. We'll click on capsule. We'll put effects on it. 
We'll open that up. And in the update section, so transform dot rotate. And I think we want that to be rotating on, is it the X axis? So let's have rotate like three, zero, zero. If it's not right, it's e easy enough to fix. So this is just saying rotate it, and we're rotating on the X, Y, and Z axes. Take a look. There we go. So that looked good. The speed looked good. Um, now let's just add one more thing. I'm going to add a particle system. So I'm not going to get too deep into that now, but we're just trying to add a, you know some flourishes to this. So game object, particle system, and it almost looks right to begin with. Let's just slide that over. And we said it was uh, zero since it's the center. And I believe let's go up. And it's 24 even, I believe. And we'll attach it to the capsule. We will change the shape. We'll shrink the particle size. We'll change the lifetime. We'll slow the speed. Base as well. And we'll increase the emission. Let's see how that looks. Okay. Let's just lower that a bit. Pretty good. Probably just has to be shrunk in a little bit. Let's make the start size a little bit smaller. So 05. And have it last not quite as long. But increase this by a little bit. And none of this is exact. This is like sculpting. It's just trying to get something that looks right to you. And we said that the base needs to be shrunken. You still may do it manually by clicking on the visible dot on the screen. You can just come in here though and uh, uh, change the radius. And I don't want to mess with this too much. It's not meant to be a full uh, particle system. Demo just gave me the idea of what of some of these kind of flourishes you can do. I know what's bugging me. It's disappearing um, at the top. It immediately cuts off. So let's do size of a lifetime. And a grid opens up down here. Just create, right click, add key just so it doesn't get affected right away. And then do that so the size disappears over time. much better so it just doesn't disappear immediately. Okay. If you don't like the look of the particle system, you don't have to add it, but I just figured I would add that extra little uh, uh, touches while we're at it. And now we just need the power up, the capsule, to be destroyed. So let's go into the move orb script. And we already have the the on collision enter when we're colliding with another object. So what we're going to do is we're not going to use a tag this time. We're going to use if other dot game object dot name 
equals and it's called capsule then destroy other dot game object so a couple differences. One, we're not using a tag, and the reason for it is all the lethal objects do the same thing. They kill you. So you don't need to know all the different names, but the individual polyps will all have different effects. So uh, we can just base it on name rather than trying to come up with all those different tags. And the second thing is that we're not destroying the game object that the script is attached, attached to. We're destroying the other object that's being collided with. Let's just save this, and then I think that will be it for this tutorial. Well, this video, we'll, we'll, we're not done with the project yet. We've got plenty of other things to do, but with this one video. There we go, and it destroyed it. Now, we don't have any uh, variables yet to represent, say, health points or attack points or power-ups, jump ability, speed, anything like that. But this is where we'd make changes um, for that power-up. So you grab the capsule and it does something for you. So maybe HP gets increased. Maybe the speed gets increased. In this case, it's actually the speed of the camera and the speed of the uh, sphere. Um, so that's the kind of thing. So this you're going to see us build out. So right now, it just says destroy the object because, like I said, it's just a placeholder. It basically stakes out the code, and now we have an area in order uh, that we can um, have power-ups make a difference. Like I said, either it be speed or whatever. So I think that should do it for this video. And um, uh, in the next one, uh, I think maybe we'll start dealing with like uneven levels, like going up ramps and things like that.